Piedmont, Virginia Community College is the college that Christian actually went to. It's where Christian graduated from. And today we're going to be learning all about the experiences that Christian had at Piedmont, Virginia Community College. So this is going to be really good. But before we begin, I just want to let you all know that the more I learn about this Christian stuff, the more I just see it. What a dramatic story it is. How it's it's sad is what it is. It's it's devastating what, what can happen to people when they're pushed. They're pushed and they're pushed and they're pushed. But Chris Chan, having been through everything that they've been through, it's amazing that they're still pushing on in life. If I had been through half of what Chris Chan has been through, I don't think I'd be I don't think I'd be alive anymore. But Chris Chan is alive. Chris Chan's pushing forward. Chris Chan never gives up. That's something I like about Chris Chan. Let's learn. You guys ready to learn? Let's learn. And some of you are comparing uh, Chris Chan to like Randy Stair and Elliot Roger in certain ways. And I can see the points that you're making about how they have these similarities. But Chris Chan never gave up. Chris Chan never gave up and threw in the towel and chose that exit method that those individuals did, which is impressive. Chris Chan's striving on. So, uh, and speaking of those individuals, thinking about all this is reminding me of them. And it's reminding me that a lot of individuals out there a lot of you guys can relate to those people and I want to help you I don't want you to feel like that I don't want you to feel like you don't have any hope I don't want you to feel like you don't have any choices because you do you can make it I believe in you if, if nobody ever tells you they believe in you know that I believe in you okay I want to help you let's get rocking and rolling I've got some things in the works. I've got some plans. I'm going to experiment with some new content. Let's get going here. Bay Shaman loves you. Piedmont, Virginia Community College. A community college located in Charlottesville, Virginia. At PVCC, Chris earned an Applied Science Associate's degree in computer-aided drafting and design. In the Sonic Shoe comics, PVCC is the realm of Mary Lee Walsh. In real life, Walsh, in her role as Dean of Student Affairs, gave Chris a hard time on his love quest and at points shattered his heart. Chris took revenge on his own in his own fashion, making her into a character in his comics. A witch. Now the love quest, we actually did a previous video all about the love quest, and that's how Chris Chan actually had signs at school to, uh, we're going to get into that here a little bit too, but he's basically saying, looking for a boyfriend free girl, you must have these prerequisites, you must be this, you must be that, and, and Mary Lee Walsh wasn't okay with that. When I first heard about it, I kind of thought, hey, why not let him do it? But then I started to see that Mary Lee Walsh was right, and everyone who agreed with her, you were right, you can't be allowing that at schools. Let's continue here. Chris's academic life. Chris began classes in PVCC in September of 2000. He originally chose marketing as his major. Bob quickly transferred Chris to the CAD track. Now that's computer-aided drafting and design. So, and by the way, Chris Chan has a degree in computer-aided drafting and design. That's cool. That's really cool. Chris has said very little about his college academic career. We do know that he graduated and earned the following credits. I've got a list of the credits here that Chris Chan earned. English, humanities, social... All right, wellness, okay. So for the CAD degree specifically, Chris's requirements were a computer-aided drafting one, drafting two, additional courses approved by an advisor. All right. In other words, his CAD advisor would have played a very large role in guiding Chris towards the appropriate background and prerequisite courses. When Chris entered the college, he was required to consult with an academic counselor who would also help him plan a schedule. He was also, no doubt, in close touch with a counseling center throughout his time there. Awesome. We know that Chris took at least one infamous English class. He also took tennis to fulfill his wellness, wellness requirement. Hmm. Tennis. He also took a course in HTML. Nice. Okay, here we go. Kicked out. Now we're getting into the part where old Chris Chan got actually kicked out of college. This is a this one took a turn for the worse. When fall semester began in the fourth year of Chris's education, he began his love quest. For two months, Chris taped his attraction sign to the wall in the PVCC lobby, usually standing or sitting next to it. On October, in October of 2003, however, 
Chris fell prey to Mary Lee Walsh, the Dean of Student Services, who according to Chris ripped up his sign, yelled at him, and harshly criticized his methods. However, it is highly unlikely that this is what transpired. Oh, so they feel that Chris might have been, hmm, let's find out. While Chris assumed she was simply a force of pure malice, his, her official justification is not known, although the likeliest given reason was simply that Chris was soliciting on college property, which unsurprisingly created an uncomfortable environment. I, could, I see, yes, I see now. In any case, Chris made another sign and put it up, but it was simply torn down again. For the rest of the semester, Chris stopped his solicitations, but in the new year, he implemented a new plan. He inundated the campus with copies of his monthly Sonichu's Dash News Dash. This publication was predictably chiefly concerned with Chris and his all-consuming need for a girlfriend. Now, Sonichu's News Dash, we haven't actually done a video talking about it, uh, but it's basically a Sonichu pamphlet, a little booklet, where he talks about wanting a girlfriend. We, maybe we'll look into that on another one, but let's continue for now. Or maybe we did. Maybe we had that in our... Uh, Love quest video. Going on a love quest, baby. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? At this stage, the college had numerous legal avenues they could take to force Chris to stop. The pamphleteering, as Chris was doing it, was blatantly not permitted. Before beginning distribution of petitions, handbills, signs, or pieces of literature, students or registered student organizations, individuals, or groups must submit to the Student Activities Office a copy of such for distribu distribution approval. Now, I wonder if they would have approved it if he had... No, I guess they wouldn't because it's solicitation, isn't it? Just kind of saying you want a girlfriend. All right, we're not going to argue about it. It's okay, let's not argue about it. He just wanted a girlfriend, man. He, was, he wanted a girlfriend. Chris managed to get out two issues of the news dash before direct intervention occurred. In late January of 2004, he was summoned to a meeting with Walsh, as well as Susan Hannafin, from the Office of Advisement and Counseling, who specialized in disability support services, who, considering her position, would have been extremely courteous and obliging to Chris, and would also have had a good understanding of Chris's conditions. Chris, however, despised Hannafin, and was giving her the silent treatment at this time. At the February meeting, Chris was told, in no uncertain terms, that he could not distribute the news dash and presumably also ordered again not to use his sign either. Yeah, they were giving him a hard time about that, weren't they? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it was okay for him to have the sign up? I, I see it from both ways. But, I mean, if I was the dean of that college which obviously I'll never be. But if I was, I'd say, hey, brother, you go for it. You go for that girlfriend. You can do it. I believe in you. You put that sign up. You're going to get a girlfriend one day. Because eventually some girl's going to go up to him. She's going to be like, hey, I saw your sign. And he... Actually, it would probably be a troll. Yeah, never mind. Oh, leave me alone. The following day, he posted on his website, Sonichu's news dash has been taken away by Mary Lee Walsh. Mary Lee Walsh has taken the Sonichu news dash and exiled it on BVCC property. But it is not too late. Go to Mary's office and demand that the news dash should stay running on Piedmont Virginia Community College. To annoy her, send her an email. Also, he was trying to get people to send her emails too. Wow. He helpfully included a link. Chris also sent Walsh an angry note, which communicated an intimidating glare in a pictorial fashion Walsh set in motion disciplinary procedures. Yeah, it sounds like he was really going after her. He was, he was pretty ticked. Oh, sounds like he wasn't kidding. On paper, any member of the PVCC community who initiated charges against a student would have said charges investigated by the Dean of Student Services. In this case, however, it was the Dean herself who was filing the charges. How the college dealt with this paradox is unknown. Perhaps one of Mary's colleagues investigated instead. What is clear, however, is that Chris had gone after the one person at the college who was most knowledgeable on how to expel students. <clears throat> that wasn't good. We've got the CWC Evil Glare here. Trap card. As a select one of your opponents. 
face up monsters, decrease that monster's attack and defense by 700 points. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a glare alright. That's a good glare, I like it. Again, on paper, Chris would have been given five days to address the allegations against him. At this point, the college had the choice to simply give Chris a written warning. Instead, they wisely decided to treat the matter seriously enough to assemble the college hearing committee, which would discuss the possibility of suspension or expulsion. In 10 days, there would be a hearing to which Chris could bring people to defend him. In reality, there were several hearings, and the decision to suspend Chris wasn't made until September. On March 2nd, Walsh met with Chris and his parents and, in his words, tried to frame me just to give her an excuse to boot me out of PVCC. This angered Chris and his parents. On September, in September of 2004, Chris was informed that he had had been... I, I'm having trouble now because I'm thinking about how this college problems for Chris Chan, they're kind of similar to Elliot Rogers college problems too. They really both wanted a girlfriend. So they both, it caused so many problems for them. But Chris had the, Chris had... I can't even think right now. Like, this is... My brain is broken right now. Totally broken. Wow. Mm. Wow, this is deep, dude. But I'm um, sort of connection. Oh, my God. The connection. Chris Chan had the extroversion to put signs up, to talk to people. So all this... L.A. Rogers didn't have any of that. He was, he was introverted, so he wouldn't put signs up or even talk to anybody. So, so they both were so similar. Did I break the Matrix or something? Oh... I don't know, dude. I think I just broke the matrix. Um. Okay, here we go. So, this angered Chris and his parents. Chris was informed that he had been suspended for one year. In order to return, he would need to take anger management classes, get a psychological evaluation, and receive social skills counseling. He was attending classes again in fall of 2005. Graduation. Chris, graduation, Chris graduated with an associate's degree in applied science and a CAD certificate. As opposed to his high school graduation, Chris didn't seem to care about graduating from college, likely because of his perceived antagonization during his studies there. On the big day, Chris wore his Sonic Shoe medallion. Nice. That Sonic Shoe medallion is really cool. We gotta do a video about that, learning all about the medallions. Uh, they're actually made out of Crayola model magic and acrylic paint. I'm thinking about making one of my own. Those are so cool. That's cool, man. All right. PVCC, uh, this is our last part here, as viewed by Chris. Okay, what did Chris think of PVCC? <sighs> SBCCC, see the connections? Santa Barbara, see? Christian Weston Chandler referred to Piedmont Virginia Community College as the private villa of corrupted citizens due to the grudge he holds against the college. Within the context of his Sonic Shoe comics, Christian has characterized the private villa of corrupted citizens as the headquarters for the activities of the villains of Quickville. Well, well, let me know what you guys think of this college stuff. Let me know in the comments if you think Christian was wrong for putting up those signs, if you think Mary Lee Walsh should have left him alone, and uh, if you don't really have anything to reply with, that's perfectly fine too, but leave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And also, if you don't mind... Do you think I should start doing videos again on people who lost their minds and did horrible things? Do you think I should? I keep thinking about it. A big reason I stopped is that it brought so many mean people who are mean to our community. But hey, if people are really, really hateful, you can just ban them. I feel protective of my community. I love my community more than anything. I don't like it when people mess with my community. I love my community more than anything. A lot of you guys know that. I don't know if I should start doing those again. But then again, I'm like... If I can help these kids, I always want to help these kids, but I wasn't doing it right last time. Last time I was making jokes, making fun of stuff. If you want to help people, you don't make fun of the people who they look at. You have to try to understand what was wrong and how you can fix it. I feel like that was my biggest error I made in all that stuff was making fun of the, the bad people. Like, yeah, they're bad people. They did bad things. <laughs> What's done is done. Now we need to look at these kids who relate to them, these kids who are in these dark positions in life. How can we help these kids? Help these people. Not all of them are kids. Well, half of them are adults. There's kids and adults. And they all need some sort of help. How can we help them? What can we do? Making fun of those people who they relate to, that's not the way to do it. 
That's why they get so mad at you and hate you. That's why a lot of people hated me is because I was making fun of these people. You don't make fun of those people. That's not going to help these people. That's not going to help the modern versions. You got to help them somehow. How do you help them? How do you help them? Tell me, how do you help them? How do you help them? I need to know.